بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم من بعد أيها الحبة في الله A very powerful and profound statement by Ibn al-Jawzi رحمه الله تعالى He said Every breath we take is taking us closer to death The time we spend in this world is short The time we are held in our graves is long and the punishment for following our lowly desires is calamitous. Every breath we take is taking us closer to death. And this without doubt. No Muslim, no non-Muslim, no one denies this that we're coming closer to death. That every day, every minute is precious. And we're moving in one direction. We're not getting younger. We're getting more feeble, etc. The time we spend in this world is short. And that is a verification of what he said in the first statement, that our time is short in this dunya, and our time is precious. So how you spend it is how you'll be accounted with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu mentioned that two things are uh, very valuable but they're, very, they're considered very, not considered, uh, are used very wisely by most of the people. As-siha wa firab. As-siha wa firab. Health and your time. Your spare time. So, using our time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and using our health to worship, <coughs> to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gain us great benefit and great reward because as you become more feeble and more sickly in your life the more difficult it is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more difficult it is to get up for the Fajr prayer to go to leave your home and go when you have sickness uh, to stand for the prayer if you are you have difficulty in your limbs uh, and, and etc and likewise your time when you have time to do ibadah use that time to do so but when we become busy with jobs that take us away from the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that busy us in this dunya and we get caught up in materialism and consumerism or just the fact that we have a job that busies us then we realize the blessing of time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and so he said the time we are held in our graves is long so although our time in this life is short the time in the grave is long so to pay for what you did in this life, that time will, will be plentiful. So maybe you had just a few minutes that you enjoyed some disobedience to Allah. For example, the person who drinks wine and they were drunk. They became drunk, they laughed, they enjoyed time with their friends or, or whoever. And this was a brief time. They, they don't even remember that after they have awakened the next day. But it was such a short time. So they want to do it again and again and again. All of that is just fleeting pleasures of this life. So quick. But the time that they'll pay for that in the hereafter is a long time in the punishment, either the punishment of the grave, and hopefully we have the na'ima qabr, that we have the, 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 the comfort of the grave. May Allah bless us with that. Ameen. And then he said, and the punishment for following our lowly desires is calamitous. Meaning that the, that brief time that you took to be disobedient to Allah, disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you stole something, that you committed zina, that you did whatever you did, that was muharram, that the pleasure of it only lasted so, it was so fleeting. It was in such a brief moment. The punishment that you will have in the hereafter is a calamity will be something great. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless that to be a reminder from us, for us. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.